Our book, which is on polar microbiology, uh, is co-written by Lyle White at McGill University. We were attending a conference on polar and alpine microbiology in Banff, Canada a few years ago and started talking about it and thinking about it and how important polar microbiology was becoming to microbiology, particularly with the changes in the Earth's uh, uh, climate and uh, the fact that we really still don't understand how microbes um, uh, how microbes adapt to cold, living in the cold, and what might happen as the ozone layer uh, thins and the ice caps melt. Guidance for this book is varied, ranging all the way from uh, researchers in the field who want to catch up on the other aspects of that field. Uh, it can also be used as a textbook, a graduate textbook, uh, on the field, on, uh, uh, on extreme environments, microbiology extreme environments, or on polar microbiology directly. Um, it's also great for just the average microbiologist that wants to learn something more about living in the cold or what it might be like to live in, on Mars if you're a microbe. Uh, this book is advantageous over similar titles in that similar titles tend to look at the biotechnology and how we can exploit polar, the polar microbiology for oil uh, uh, reclamation, et cetera. This book is basic microbiology and is really interested primarily in informing about how microbes adapt to the cold, what are the consequences of changes in climate at the poles, and um, how they fit into the general ecology, the microbial ecology of the world. We would like our readers to take away from this textbook an idea of what it might be like to be a microbe in either the Arctic or the Antarctic, some ideas of what's really happening as we increase the greenhouse gases and deplete the ozone layers at the poles, and what the future of microbes as well as their macro uh, biological friends, that is the animals and plants of Antarctica and the Arctic, uh, will be like in 20 years as the climate changes. Mm -hmm.